Let's head to Standing Rock and go protest. I fear for your life. Rubber bullets. Okay, that's better. We got a good lawyer. Friends are driving there right now. Let's hear what they think. What do you guys think, guys? Hey, driving to North Dakota. Donate some things to the Standing Rock people that are gonna be there all winter long. Getting some camera things ready. Driving convoy with some other friends. Bringing some to donate. Scooping up our friend Rico in Rapid City. Away. Camp out for a couple nights. Go see what people are doing there. The police brutality. I mean, we're driving. We're just about to get out to the airport shuttle. Let's check in with those other guys. Hey guys. I'm going pretty well, me. Yeah, bro. Bro, I'm reading about the Goose Dance religion. It's, it's heaps hectic, bro. Can Tell us some knowledge, bro. Yeah, everybody falls into these holes, but then the, the Indians get to come back out of the holes and live forever eternally in happiness. My name's Tony. This is Tony. Welcome. Well, we're gonna make good time. Definitely looking good to get on this flight. Yeah. Hey, Tony. Why is it that when you're on your way to the airplane, you always lose your boarding pass? I mean, it's the shortest distance from the check-in to the security over here, but then again, here it is, boarding pass. Gonna need that. Head up the security. Liquid's gels out. Pull the cushion to your chest and then clasp your hands together. The cabin is pressurized for your comfort. We have to use oil to fly the plane. Yeah, I know. It's all irony. We don't know what we're doing. We'll be there in an hour or so, so we'll check in with everybody, see what they're doing. What are you guys doing? Comfy shoes, man. Where are we going? Chief Washaki um, defeated uh, Big Robert, and he was so impressed with his courage that rather than scalp him, he cut out his heart and placed it on the end of his lance. On top of that thing over there? Yep. Right there. 150 years ago. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. You filming? And I'll do 10 on this, and I'll do 10 on both of those. I'm, I'm part Indian, and I know some people that are there, so just really? kind of be careful, okay? okay? Make a quick work of that. Now we're here. Hopefully Rico's here. It'd be a darn shame. We drove all this way to get him. Rivals. I see a person that looks kind of like him. Oh, look at these guys! Oh, no. <laughs> Behind the scenes moment. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh. What's up? <laughs> you made it. We're gonna go do some protests and get shot with some rubber bullets. <laughs> Good, Tyler. How's it going? It's happening, dude. Five hours, we're there. We're getting there. Yeah, Sacred Stone Camp. Here we come. Yes. What's up? Okay. Yeah. We made it. Almost. Almost. Five more hours. Yeah, we have there is a lot of driving. Water is life. You can't drink oil. We are driving 14 hours to go protest a pipeline. But hey, it's the best we can do with contemporary technology. I can actually fix this car myself. And I live in the mountains and it's cold. So He's got no shoes on. We're, we're just, the amount of petrol chemicals that we've used just to get to this point. There's this, there's tanks of fuel, there's that, there's the sign, the fuel. We all, we're all familiar with this. We need it, we depend on it. We love it's not it. It's so much about the petrol, it's about the systematic oppression. 400 years of oppression of the native people, man. That's what this is about. Petrol is a whole nother issue. We're working on it, we got hybrids. We're talking about the, um, <laughs> it does not stop on its own. <laughs> we have an oil spill. This is why they don't want the pipeline going across the river because this oil spill could happen anywhere. We're calling Mark Henderson, who came here last week. He says they're arresting journalists. Yeah, perfect. Call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Hey Mark, how's it going? Kyle from Jackson Hole. You mentioned that they were arresting journalists. Calls back. Let's call Mark again. At the tone. We're still so far away. So it's uh, a freckle past the hair in the morning. Don't quite know where we are. We're in South Dakota, but we're supposed to be in North Dakota. Something is not quite there yet. We are headed north. We just missed the left. People are peeing. We are in the middle of something most people like to call nowhere. Yeah. Hey, howdy. 
North as Polaris goes. I'm about to cross from South Dakota and North Dakota. It's one of those autonomous vehicles. Look, it drives by itself. You push a button and it does it. We just got into the reservation just now. An eerie feeling right now, because driving through this reservation, we don't know what, <laughs> what we're gonna see. There's 300 people, there's 4,000 people, we don't know. We just started driving and here we are. So, wish us luck. Oh, cool. uh, this is full on. This We're just arriving cool. here. Que pasa? Hey, morning. How's it going? You guys returning or first time? First, first time. time. First time. Where are you coming yeah. from? Jackson, Wyoming. Wyoming. Wow, Wyoming. Right all right. Yeah, we yeah, drove man. a long time, time today. today. I bet, man. How we brought hours? supplies for you guys. Yeah. How many people are here? Close to a thousand, maybe. I, mean, I would maybe. say just follow those cars up there because there's like parking here on the right, but there's like, you know, open spots and stuff. Everybody's kind of just finding a spot where there's. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Go straight, go straight. What the heck is going on here? It's kind of like how I pictured it in a way, but bigger than I thought. There's all sorts of signage and flags and camp chairs and camps. And RVs, people like, campers, people milling around. There's teepees everywhere along the skyline. Let's see if we can get down to the Missouri River. That'd be the fucking ideal this camp, right? Damn, dude, there's teepees everywhere. The vibe is super friendly. No parking go around. I don't know, there's food falling on me. At least right here, uh, we're right next to the medic tent. We're here, man. We're here. We're at Standing Rock. I mean, no sense in not riding another fire to see what happens. Yeah, but. Well, first time here? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Wait, yep, there's supposed to be 10,000 people here. Yeah. That yeah. is the pipeline. No I call it the evil empire. Yep, and you heard they're bringing in a great big rig, right? When's that? To dig underneath the river. Oh, yeah, yeah. There were, there there was no, one, what there, to there say. Was one weekend you were, it's you ridiculous. Were guys, guys, there were 7,000 people. Oh, I'd say that many. No, no, this has grown. This has grown. And it needs to. It's perfect that it's growing. Yeah. We're in Wyoming. We couldn't sit by and watch. All well, right. that's good, guys. It's a it's drive good. away. Let's, let's, let's just good. hop in the car and go. That's good. Glad you're here, man. <laughs> and we brought tons of warm clothes from... Yep. Yeah, like I say, there's a main camp. You passed up the main camp. Yeah, yeah no, yeah, we're yeah. going to oh. stop by in the morning. Alrighty. Yeah, we just got in. <laughs> my name's Joe. Oh, my God. Good, good to meet you. Susan? Susan? Hey, how are you? Kyle. Kyle, how are you? Yeah, Kyle. nice to meet you. There's more of us here. Guys, you guys are going to kind of be in for a treat tomorrow. We're going to yeah. build a wigwam. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. There are so many people here. People are set up a little eerie. I mean, behind me, these lights. That's actually the pipeline right behind us. We're in the middle of it. This is a safe zone. We're amongst friends. It feels like we're going to be safe. We're able to have free speech, the First Amendment. Can you imagine that? I can't wait for tomorrow. We just have a lot to do. We have a lot to film. We have a lot to explore. Well, how far are we going over here before we get into trouble, kind of? Oh, I don't know. You, you, dude, you just got to find that out for yourself. <laughs> okay, yeah. Go as far as you think as you can. You're going to get arrested, right? Yeah, exactly. And one thing, I wouldn't bring the camera there. Don't bring a camera. They might even seize your camera. Well, like I say, the media, yeah. dude. I mean, it's the media thing here. The media, it, that's the they biggest thing. They don't want thing. it. No, they don't want it. Right. Yes, that's what we want to bring here. Yes. Yeah. That's where all the burials, the burial sites were disturbed. That's why I'm here. When you start disturbing your ancestors, there's no way you could sit down and do nothing about it. But what would you do, man, if someone came up and dug up your grandmother, your dad? If they were going on their journey in the ground, what would you do? If they started digging up your grandmother, grandpa, so you'd be right here. I'd be right here. What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? That's my family. Bones are supposed to stay where they are. That's why I'm here. Yeah. And the water. Yep, and the water. Yeah. We are walking on a riverbed right now. This used to be a great big river where tribes used to come together and have their ceremony. And now we're fighting for just, for just the little water that they have left. But it's the main thing is that. That's it. Yes, it is. Yep, and that's why I'm here. Yep, Standing Rock, man, Standing Rock. All right, well, have a wonderful night. You too, guys. There's a heart, there's a heart just there in the grass. Why, we don't know. And some liver. Can you explain that? I can't explain it.
Yeah, maybe we should tread lightly. There's a reason there's not trampled grass all around here, maybe. All right, that's a pipeline. Is this a good water log? In that thing where we camp out, make food, be alive. The usual, only, you know, instead right behind us is this crazy thing that we don't really understand. So we're gonna go out there tomorrow and kind of figure it out. Really. Make, make these at home, or do you make? Just make uh, them here. Hardwood. Bet we can break it if we just jump on it. This is hardwood, eh? Take a couple of things. Good. Cutting wood here. We're just chopping up the firewood that we found along. Missouri River. What you see here is some amazing technique. Next one. Let's cut. Are you ready? Yeah, you can be the interviewer. What's your name? Tyler. Mark. Kyle. Wanders. Wade. Lucas. What do you want to know? How you guys life? What do you guys do for food? Your life, reservation. I teach people how to whitewater kayak. And you? I'm an artist. I get people noodles when they're hungry. Boat captain, sail around the world. Oh, sir? Yeah. yeah. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I do what you do with that. I just take pictures and make videos. Oh, watch that look. And I used to sell noodles with him. <laughs> <laughs> Noodle boys, huh? Yeah, we all used yeah. to sell <laughs> noodles. <laughs> Tell me your name, my friend. Zincalato. Bluebird. Blue? Bluebird? Yep. I have an Indian name too. Kills the enemy at night, sometimes that day. How do you say it again? Zincalato. I am from Wunderni, South Dakota. This is where the, the massacre took place. 1973 occupation. One of our non native people got killed in Nebraska. Then they dumped his body on this side of the reservation. They didn't have no inspiration. It was a big standoff with the AIM and American Indian movement. It was a peaceful, it was disrespectful what the army did and the use of the government. Right now we're fighting for land, water, and rights. You guys understand me what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Let me tell you a story. I had a vision I was here. I was sitting in this big turtle shell in my dream, big enough for the, all, all of us to fit inside there. And here, that turtle shell starts spinning way up there. Every time it starts spinning way up there, I clash on to the turtle shell and I flip. I flipped out the turtle shell and I started coming down from the sky and I opened my arms and I started flying. And that's where I seen this camp. And that's where I meant to be here. I had a dream that this happened and we are here together today. Fire for land and water. That story is true. You guys have any extra water? Like, I just saw what was happening was so wrong. And I couldn't sit by and watch, knowing that I could easily come over here and do whatever I could do. And we had no idea what to expect or what would happen. Give our full support. Trying to understand more. The more we understand, the more we can do. Unchimaka, Mother Earth. It doesn't mean much, I'm sure, but we're sorry for what our people have done years and years. Sorry doesn't do it, but that's why we're here. Another burn, but it tastes good. I'll put it to fire. Takiyase? Takiyase. Grab whatever you desire. I like, like that. I, I like that crispy taste. Like Teamwork. At least you guys stop by. Have a good camp. Good. Close by the river. <laughs> the fire. I know.
I uh, chopped off some wood for you guys too. Yeah. Who's oldest? Right. So you basically the leader. This camp's right here, man, right top of the hill up there too. Those lights are the fucking light, man. The closer you go to that, the, that's where the closer you are to get like shot or arrested and yeah. Where were bullets? Have you been shot? What, what's happening tomorrow? You wake up and just hike over there? No, you don't want to walk up that way. Cross that line, you can get shot. As soon as you leave the camp. Uh, like, rubber like say something happens, then all the warriors get together and we'll go up that way. You can't drink the, the water, water The water is polluted on the reservation already. Yep. So we have, to, we have to get water from the fucking store and shit. Yeah. You can't take it from the earth, you have to get it from a store. Disrespectful what the government did. It's the government and it's people that want a dollar. All the government is what is the money. I'm telling the truth. Stand off like 1973 occupation. Tell the truth. That's why I'm here to stand here for that water, land, water. Yeah. That's why we came here to yeah, help. Yeah, we came here to help. Everything we can mm. and stand with you. And show people about it because a lot of people don't know. Because we're fighting for old land, water rights, and because you guys came here to support. And it's for your water too, right? Because it's be your kids drinking your water. In the middle for a high five real fast. We made it. Yo, beep, 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 beep. Yeah, thanks for coming on my crazy idea. 36 hours later. But if you're like doing evil in the world and you're like, oh, I'm gonna smash your camera if you bring your camera anywhere near here, you know you're doing something wrong. <laughs> just pure wrong. Well, that's why I'm bringing the tiny little GoPro because I can just like sneak it and get shots. You can rock your camera under my jacket all the time. Yeah, yeah. Super simps. No, I'm all for it. Like, I'll, I'll stand in front of you while you film. Take the rubber bullet for us, bro? I would, for sure. <laughs> I'm the one that drug you guys here. I think I could deal with mace, but the rubber bullets, yeah. It's not gonna be too fun. We're but being arrested. No, we got lawyers and shit. I think the rubber bullets will hurt more than getting arrested would. I think getting our camera stolen and smashed would be the worst. Yeah, and that's for you guys. I don't, my GoPro got stolen. Well, the story doesn't go very far if we don't get it back to the cutting boards. Girl, I have to call the FBI to get my footage back because I filmed something on a reservation. All right, well, I guess this is how it goes down.